Lines and centre lines are one of the most common sketch entity types, and you'll use them often when sketching in SolidWorks. The first thing we'll do is sketch a simple rectangle shape. We'll do this by using the line tool. So over in the sketch tab, and you'll see line, uh, click on that and it will be in the line uh, sketch entity tool. From the midpoint, we will click on the midpoint and then just draw a line horizontally. Uh, you'll notice that it will snap to the, that horizontal or vertical point when you sort of get to that angle. Otherwise, you can also just draw off in any angle, but we want a horizontal line out to the side. We'll click, then we're going to go up, then over to the left side. And you'll notice what these dashed lines are. These are called inference lines. And they're just showing you that it's, if you were to click here, that it's gonna be in line with this point down here, or that it is currently in line with that point. So it's good to pay attention to inference lines just to make sketching a little easier and place points where you want them when you want them at these kind of angles or specific points on the drawing. So we want to click on there. And then to close this profile, we're going to go down back to the original starting point. You'll notice that a bunch of automatic sketch relations have also been added. So you can see some horizontal sketch relations and some vertical sketch relations. So when you are sketching, there are sometimes, uh, depending where you place points, it will automatically add sketch relations for you. Another thing we can do with lines is create center lines. Center lines are unique in that they are not used for featured geometry, but they can be dimensioned and they can be used to create sketch relations from. So to create a center line, again, you can just go to the line tool, drop that down and you'll see center line. And then we can just create say a center line from point to point here. And we're also gonna point, go from this point to this point. So we now have some center lines. To finalize this, we could create a dimension, an angled dimension, and make this 50. And we've completed a little sketch of a cube with some center lines. Now let's do a few more things with the line tool and center line tools. I've created a quick little sketch here of this weird little rectangle shape. We're gonna reproduce that over to the right hand side. Now we can just go to the line tool, but there's also a few other ways we can access this tool. You can right click in the graphics window and go to sketch entities and click on line. Uh, and we want it to be as close as possible to matching the same points as these lines over the on the left. So if we make sure we're sort of using those inference lines and we can see it's horizontally aligned to here and we're gonna start our first line and we're just going to draw over. And if you wanna stop using the line tool, you just push the escape key. We now need a couple of lines going vertically and I'll show you something with the line tool in the options. When you click on the line tool, you'll notice some extra settings over to the side here and I'll just take a moment to explain them. The orientation, the as sketched, it just means that whenever you're using a line, it's just going to do it as you sketch it. So if I do it off in this direction, it's going to be in that direction. Another is the horizontal and vertical. So you could preset horizontal or vertical sketch relations by clicking this first. I don't use this too often, but you can do it. So in this case, let's give it a try. So we are going to need to create a vertical one. So we are going to start from here and you can see, even if I move my mouse off to the side, it's just going to keep it vertically aligned. So we will use that tool in here and place it in this direction. Personally, I just like to use the automatic sketch relations. So I'm just gonna click on there, wait for it to be vertically aligned and then drop it in place. Another way of starting a line is to actually use the shortcut menu. You can do that by pushing S on the keyboard, S for shortcut, and you'll notice this menu pop up. And from here, I can pick my line tool, click this point, and then we're just going to drag off to the side, roughly this angle, put a point there, and we're going to then come back at a 90 degree angle. And you'll notice that it actually has automatic relation for a perpendicular. So we can go up to the side here and we'll just put it about here. And then a final point, which will go back to here. It's not looking completely the same as the one on the side. So we do need to add a sketch relation here. What we can do is make it perpendicular. So we can select these two, select 
make perpendicular and you can see now it looks more like on the left hand side. Finally there's center lines as I was explaining before center lines are used you can create sketch uh, relations from them or you can run dimensions from them but they aren't used in feature geometry so when you can't extrude a, a square made out of center lines for example. It may help with our drawing to have some uh, center lines in the middle of this part. We can access that by going either to the line tool, dropping it down and going to center line. And we are going to create one from this point to this point and then pushing escape. And you can see it's a center line because of the, the dashed pattern that it puts in. Another way is again, we can push S for shortcut, dropping down the line tool and going to center line. And we're going to go from this point to the midpoint. The final way is you can actually just right click in the graphics area, go to sketch entity and then center line. And we can finish this by going to the center point to straight down to the center point. One final thing about center lines is you can actually convert normal lines to center lines and then back again if you need to. So it may be easier that you might say create a normal line here to here and then from here to here. We can now pick those lines by holding down control so we can select multiple objects and picking those three lines. If you don't move your mouse this menu should pop up so you can either change it to construction geometry from here or if you don't see that menu because you moved your mouse you can actually see it over on the left hand side in the options you can tick for construction and you can now see those lines are center lines. You can also right click on it and that will also make the menu pop up. This is the construction geometry switch between button. So we can click on that and make that back to a normal line. So that's lines and center lines. Very good tool. You'll be using lines a lot when you're doing your sketches. So start playing around, doing a few sketches and learning how to use it and using center lines where you need to use them as well. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and we'll move on to the next lesson.